All right, we're going to make our own uh, meta packages. Uh, hopefully you know what that is, but let me give you a short description. A meta packages is basically uh, kind of like a shopping list. So let's say, for example, uh, you have, you know, Firefox, VLC, Chromium, OpenOffice, and you want to install all that at one time, um, you can do that. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our own dev file. And when we install that dev file, it's going to install all the thing on our list, okay? Uh, so I'm going to use our console here. And what you want to do is make a new folder. So I'm going to call it GBU. CD into the folder. Um, what is it here? And I'm going to use this program. It's called Equivs uh, Control here. Uh, and then you can give it um, whatever file you want, like uh, just give it a name, any name you want. But I'm going to go with the example they gave me. So they call it, oops, control. Okay. So it's just basically a text file that it generates. And uh, open it with your text editor or whatever editor you want to use. But I'm going to use Kate for this example. Uh, but if you focus on GNOME, you probably use gedit. Okay. And this is what they generate for us, okay. Uh, what we want to do in here is just edit some information. And uh, that would be uh, mainly the package here. So we'll give it a package name. So let's say got but you um, meta, whatever you want to call it. Version, uh, if you want to do this. I don't know, we'll call it uh, alpha or something. <laughs> and then we'll give it... 0 0.7 or something, I don't know. Name, um, is that right? There you go. <coughs> and email, that's it. Uh, so the important part is here is the depends. And this is where you, you know, type in all the packages that you want it to install. So let's say, for example, I don't know, Firefox, VLC, if we already have that, uh, maybe Amarok, I don't think I have that installed. And you know, whatever, just continue on, just put a comma between it, each packages, okay? I don't think it has to be in order, but that's it. And what else is here? Uh, the description, you can give it a description if you want. So let's say, Amazing. There you go. Long description. A package did with friends. That's it. <clears throat> uh, the other important part here is that you want to uncomment out the parts that you're going to use. So let's say for this part, make sure there's no space or the pound sign in front of it. So delete that part. You know delete the ones that you're gonna use right the ones that you don't use you can just leave it commented out and that's basically it uh, now you just save it All right save that sucker close it and let me clear this here so now we're gonna use uh, equivs again but we're gonna use equivs dash build not control okay and uh, we're gonna use that file and we're gonna generate this now. Basically, what's gonna do is read that, you know, list that we just edit, and it's gonna create the the dev file for us. So you can see that it creates a dev file for us right here, right? This one right here. And uh, it, you know, it uses the name that I, I gave it, and it uses the version I gave it, and here's the dev file. So let's just say we open this. Um, let me see here. With a D open dot there you go that's the command xdg open and you see that um, you have the dev file here uh, if I open this or I double click on it you know it'll give me an option to install this so you see that they have uh, 
is it you know the title I gave it or the description I gave it <laughs> amazing shits here and the details you have the version um, that I gave it and here's the maintainer which we filled it out uh, that's, I think that's it and the details here um, basically is the package that is going to be installed right so we, we told it to install Amarok, Firefox and I think some other one like VLC but I already have VLC installed so I did install it again but you can see that this case is going to be installed and it has all the dependencies uh, that it's pulled from and that's basically how you make a meta package you know now there's also you know bad side of meta packages you know if you remove one of the programs it's going to try to remove all the other programs so make sure you know what you're doing um, or make sure you know who you give you give it to okay if you're gonna do this and if they try to uninstall it they might run into uh, you know dependency hell or whatever uh, so that's it for making a a um, meta package here and as far as the programs that you need let me see here uh, I think it's called equi something like this there you go, this is the the program. Okay, quiz. Um what's the explanation that I gave it here? So aptitude show. Right, so basically it's a program that you can create a meta package with and um use it if you want to make a meta package for maybe your family or friends or whatever. Uh, that you're too lazy to to uh, explain everything to them so that's it I thought that was pretty cool